And I know some of y'all looking at me like, you're not Finley. Talk about Mike a lot. Yes, I am. First of all, let me start off by saying with all the Michael Jackson fans, please make some noise in the building this evening. <laughs> I don't apologize often. This is not a time for me to start. <laughs> but when I was talking, I was talking about somebody live. Go ahead, Chad. And the fact of the matter is, we watched this nigga get murdered right in front of our own motherfucking face. And the nigga knew it was finna happen. He told us, and we didn't know. Nigga named his last tour, This Is It. <laughs> White people, let me just tell you a little nigga secret, if I could. Niggas have never said, This Is It in a celebratory fashion. Let me just say, white people do it all the time. This is it. Not niggas. Every time we say it, we say it like this. You know what, nigga, this is it. And they straight up killed that nigga. Killed him and gave us the most bullshit story we ever heard our entire life. First, they told us this nigga was a drug addict. Then we find out this nigga's drug was sleep. <laughs> Are you telling me this nigga got high and went to sleep? <laughs> yeah, that's no drug addict. Something's a foul here. This story don't go together. Understand white people, no story ends with coma. But certainly no story starts with coma. They started this nigga story off with coma. The next story is this nigga was asleep in a coma. Then they say he wakes up out of his coma. Now understand niggas, the whole thing about a coma is supposed to be you can't get the fuck up from one. I'll come back to that part later. So the nigga wakes up out the coma. Conrad. Conrad, where are you? Conrad, Tito, someone, come here. This is where the story gets fucked up. Then they say, ain't nobody there. So they say he grabs the propofol and injects his motherfucking self and goes back into a coma. Girl, close your eyes. Let the propofol into Are you telling me that a nigga would pay somebody $150,000 a month to do some shit he could wake up out of a coma and do for himself? You can kiss my motherfucking ass. That's like me paying a bitch to suck my dick after the show and paying her girlfriend to swallow. White people, it was a setup. We knew it as soon as we saw Conrad Murray. Cause it couldn't have been no nigga to kill Michael Jackson, but it certainly couldn't have been no white doctor. Oh. If a white doctor had to kill Michael Jackson, it'd have been 600,000 niggas in moonwalking socks the next day to rioting and dancing at the same time. <laughs> They got that piece of shit ass Conrad Murray. That motherfucker, that's what a snake look like, in case you wanna know. What a motherfucking demon look like in person. Look at Conrad Murray's motherfucking ass. That nigga was on trial anytime a nigga can't cry. 
White people understand, niggas either cry one or two ways, not at all, or all the way. <laughs> Conrad Murray was on trial for 14 weeks trying to get one tear out his lying ass eyes. Just, fuck ass nigga. You, the Bible say don't believe no nigga that can't say truth. This nigga all on TV, I'm going to tell the truth. What did that nigga say he was gonna tell? <laughs> I'm going to tell the truth. I have faith. <laughs> then that nigga had this trial and he embarrassed every nigga in the world. Right in the middle of the Conrad Murray trial we thought he couldn't get no fucking worse. This nigga bring out as a witness the oldest living slave we have ever seen. Please tell me you saw that old bitch. That bitch was 136 goddamn years old. That bitch, it took her so long to get to the stand that you knew this bitch was gonna tell the truth. She... This bitch was 136 and her wig was brand new. Had the tag still in that bitch. Her slave motherfucking ass. She, this bitch snuck on the stand. Every time the judge asked her something, excuse me, judge. <laughs> Fucking judge asked her, is Conrad Murray greedy? And this old decrepit bitch act like greedy was the worst insult she had ever heard. And her got that greedy. Oh, Conrad, hey, shut your ugly ass up, bitch. That was the only problem with Michael Jackson. His fans was too goddamn nice. Nice ass Michael Jackson fans letting Conrad Murray's punk ass go to court every goddamn day with no security. That's why you got to have some ghetto fans. You ain't gonna be able to just kill me, nigga, and go to court like everything is okay. It's gonna be a bitch to hit you with a brick every time you show up to court. Just, I'm here for...